how I got into racing was um, I hit the boys dean in middle school because I was late for a class. And I had to write that I would not race in the hallway. Yeah, I don't remember how many times, but my parents had to sign it. And um, it, was, it was basically a situation where, okay, we got to get all this energy out of this kid. And um, so I did the, uh, the uh, Terry Fox 5K up in Lafayette. Don't know if it still exists or not. Um, and um, I also did the, uh, uh, we used to have uh, the Indy wheelchair games, uh, which was uh, track and field, weightlifting, a bunch of different events. Uh, but my first 5K, I did it in an hour, 55 minutes and five seconds. When I, uh, the last time I went up there, basically the year before I retired, I did the same race in less than 15 minutes. Um, you know, technology of the equipment, having the equipment, instead of pushing a 70 pound hospital wheelchair, you know, um, training, uh, maturity of my body. You know. um, I've been in two Paralympics. Um, I was in Seoul, Korea in 88. Uh, I was in Barcelona in 92. I was in the Windsor Indoor Classic Championships, and I want to say that was 86. Uh, I was in the Stoke Mandeville Games, uh, World Championships, uh, in 87. And I was in Austin Holland for the Holland, uh, Austin Holland World Champions Championships in 1990. Uh, when I retired, I had the national record in the 100, 200, and 400. I was four one-hundredths of a second off the world record in the 100 meter. I hit uh, 21 miles an hour. I had a body weight of uh, 115 pounds. Uh, God, I wish I still had that. Anyway, uh, and I could bench press uh, 305 pounds. Um, I didn't really have sponsorships to go around. Um, it was my parents. I have the most supported, supportive family anybody could ask for, bar none. Uh, my mom's been to every, uh, every country that I've been to. Uh, my dad, uh, he, he doesn't fly, so uh, he went to Canada. Um, but uh, before I was able to get a racing chair, which my parents purchased, um, my dad built a racing chair. Yeah, they've been incredibly supportive. I could not be here today if my parents weren't the people that they are. I could not have succeeded if my parents cajoled me. Is that the word I'm looking for here? Uh, if my parents didn't um, treat me as they treated me, if they, if you know, if they tried to baby me, there's no way I'd be able to to do the things I do now. The south side of Indianapolis while it has changed as the rest of the world has changed, um, it's still a, 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 a pretty darn good place to live. And um, since I've lived there my entire life, all the small businesses, they helped out. But to try and say I had a sponsorship, I can't really say that. Uh, it was a community thing, you know. Uh, I'll never forget coming back from, I think, Barcelona. Um, we got pulled over, and I looked at my dad, and I said, were you speeding? And my dad was trying to play dumb. He was like, well, I don't think so. Well, it was a Southport policeman. And he says, is that Frank Epperson in that van? And, of course, my dad says yes. He says, we want to give him a, uh, a police escort home. And so I get home, and my, my neighbors are all there, and there's a big banner, and um, maybe that was... Um, Oh, that was that was oh, that was Seoul, Korea in '88. Uh, when I got back from Barcelona in '92, um, that's when people met me at the airport. Then that was a lot of fun. <laughs>